Hello and welcome to SISD TV News, where we deliver the latest news about the Socorro Independent School District. In our top story, local renowned artists painted murals on the school walls at Escontria STEAM Academy and Paso del Norte Fine Arts Academy. Their artwork conveys the mission and heart of each school, such as technology and art. There was two campuses that were transforming into fine arts schools and they were looking for local artists to help adorn, you know, the entire school to really show the transition of what was happening. Uh, it spells out the word STEAM. It has uh, science, technology, engineering, art, and math, which all incorporate it. It spells out STEAM, which is what the academy stands for. We've put positive colors in here. Colors have meaning and they, all, they uh, help us to feel good. So definitely impact them with color and uh, inspire them to, uh, you know, get creative, uh, get creative in science, you know, learn. Color is always something that you can never fail. Uh, it will definitely stimulate and get that creativity flow going. Students at Escontria STEAM Academy and Paso del Norte Fine Arts Academy went home with a brand new book as part of the What Kids and Communities Need campaign. The distribution is part of the American Federation of Teachers Reading Opens the World Literacy Initiative, a 12-month cross-country tour to distribute one million books in conjunction with First Book and to support local educator parent projects and events. AFT members distributed more than 4,000 books to SISD students. We have a campaign called Reading Opens the World, and in that campaign we've committed a million books, multi-year, multi-million if necessary. As you know, many kids have been on you know, technology, iPads, and phones, so it's important to have literacy come back into classrooms. I believe it's very important. It teaches you new things. When you read, you learn new things, and that you get to experience new languages. This is one of several events that we've done back in the past. So we've given away over 240,000 books here in Socorro, plus this 4,000 today. You know, it helps develop our, our students' minds, help them be really uh, uh, engaged and productive in what they're doing, they're able to graduate, and what better way to start them early with reading. We don't believe in banning books, we believe in giving books to create creativity, imagination, and also the participation of living in the present. Team SISD celebrated newly resurfaced athletic fields at Americas, El Dorado, Mawood, and Socorro High Schools with a ribbon-cutting ceremony. The new turf will be used by football, soccer, and other student athletes. We uh, are all here to celebrate the new coming of El Dorado. You know, we've had a lot of different things go on throughout the years, and we're very fortunate that our board members, our principal, our administration, our athletic department, everybody came together and, you know, they provided us with this awesome facility. So I'm excited for the new season. Um, the turf is really pretty, so I'm just like, very excited to play on it. We did need some upgrades to the field and I feel really pumped up having all the sports here so it just makes me again more excited for the new year. Uh, this is a new field you know we we build we build here you know we put in work here on this and this new field will be put in work in by the next oncoming classes for you know then maybe the next 15 years. Um, yeah I, I feel like it's a great gift to Mawa High School. Um, have stuff like this new turf it allows um, it incentivizes people to join the programs um, brings out more players, it brings out better players, um, as well in the classroom, um, encourages people to, to perform better. SISD coaches and athletes welcome guest speaker Thomas Valles. Valles, who is a member of the state championship cross-country team from McFarland High School and featured in the 2015 Disney film McFarland USA, gave a motivating and inspiring message. I travel throughout the United States and I speak at schools, trying to give uh, kids, coaches, teachers, uh, you know, some hope that through education and 
mentoring that, that these kids can go out and be champions in life. And we try to reach the kids that, that may think that, you know, education is not for them uh, and maybe don't have an idea what they do, they're going to do after high school. Like a speaker like this come into our school and talk to us about this, I feel like it motivated me more to be like the best I can when it comes to racing and the passion I feel for this sport. But to hear his story and, and the background behind him and his family and, and what he went through to get to where he's at, I think that, that truly inspires people to you know, find excuses of why they should be better instead of finding excuses of why they can't do things. Socorro ISD principals, assistant principals, counselors, and teachers participated in Walk for Success, the district's annual student recovery outreach initiative. The goal of the event is to invite students back to complete their high school education. We do it because we want to make sure that our scholars have the tools necessary to succeed out there in the real world. We know how tough it is without a high school diploma and everything, so we want to make sure that they are aware of all the resources because a lot of them don't understand. We were able to leave some information, but more so we were able to talk to some families about getting their children back so that we can help them graduate. I guess I, I, was, I was bored or I think I thought I had better things to do, but you grow out of those things and I don't think um, you should just give up things that easy. They think that their only option is just dropping out of high school and that's it and they just need to work for low income wages but they don't know that there's multiple opportunities. America's Eastlake and Socorro High Schools all celebrated homecoming festivities with their annual parades. Many participated enhancing not only the school spirit but also the communities. There's a really great turnout and it's great to see that the whole community is out and supporting all the activities for the homecoming and I think that encourages the students, especially after the COVID. It, well, it feels good obviously to support the school and it brings us like together as a community and the school. We go to all the football games to support the football team um, and the band. So it's, it's really nice uh, to be able to come out here and, and join in the homecoming fest festivities every year. That's our show for today. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the latest in the Socorro Independent School District. Make sure to follow us on Twitter with the Twitter handle at Socorro ISD. Follow our superintendent, Dr. Nate Carmen, with the Twitter handle at Carmen Nate. Also be sure to friend us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Team SISD, and visit our website. Thank you again and see you next time.